Bandai is in some hot water with the Battle Spirit Saga community, and I thought I would chip in as someone who didn't even compete last season. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, Being Here, and in case you missed it, Bandai announced last week that all cash prizing has been removed from all 2024 competitive events. So that means if you go to a grand tour and you get a top place, or you go all the way to Worlds and you win the big event. Um, all cash prizing has been removed in lieu of travel vouchers to top competing players. Now travel vouchers didn't come out of nowhere. We saw this in a video back in January where Bandai released on their card game channel that um, top competing players could be expecting travel vouchers from these events. But the issue is that in that same sentence, they also said this. Pro tours become pro fests, an invite only event with cash prizes and travel vouchers to the world championships on the line. So despite the fact that Bandai wants to say that there was some confusion caused by information that was on their website or in this particular YouTube video, I would actually just like to point out that um, there was no confusion. Uh, we were told two uh, conflicting pieces of information and uh, we were just kind of expected to follow along and be okay with it. Look, I understand that the cash pricing for year one was excessive. Investing a million dollars in a game where it's really only known public information about it is the fact that it's been shut down once before was uh, a gamble at best. Um, but at the same time, you have to consider that, I mean, even though a lot of money was invested in one year, um, I mean, it kind of worked. And when I say that, I mean that the fact that this game has the community that it does speaks for itself. I mean, the subreddit has people constantly asking questions. There are uh, even more people willing to answer them. Uh, there are plenty of YouTube channels um, who are making content just out of pure enjoyment for the game. And uh, there's no shortage of Discord channels where if you don't have a big enough community around you, you can get online and you can play it within those channels. I think it's pretty clear that the game is fun and even though it maybe didn't have the impact that a million dollars in cash pricing um, could have had, uh, I think the fact is, is that the game is still growing. Um, you know, just in, in, in my personal experience, I feel very fortunate to have a very strong local community, but at the same time, back in October, November, I mean, there were weeks where it was just me and three other people that showed up to our locals. But as time has gone on, we have a pretty consistent turnout of like 12 to, I mean, sometimes as much as 18 people, which is phenomenal. Um, I think what that goes to say is just money brought people into the game but the game itself is what allowed it to continue to grow. Um, it's a game that is interactive, it's nuanced, it's uh, I, with or without cash pricing, it, it, it feels rewarding to play. Making this announcement the way that it was done was probably the biggest crime of all, but I'll go ahead and say it that it honestly doesn't surprise me to see that cash prizing was removed from these events. That's not even coming from a confidence level in Bandai, although it's hard to say with that with this, you know, L that it's, you know, confidence levels aren't dropping. Um, I just think from a business perspective, this game doesn't justify having so much money in cash prizing. Now, before I tell you where I land on all this, I think it's important to know that I didn't get into the game because of the money. By the time that I started buying into it, I had no idea that so much money could be won, but I mean, by the time that I found out, I mean, I won't be lying when I said that it definitely boosted my interest in the game, right? Uh, after all, I enjoyed learning the game, I enjoyed playing it, and the fact that I could travel to other places and make money to play this game was uh, a very attractive, to say the least. But I told myself that I would set out for Season 1, I would learn the game through and through, and then I would start competing in Season 2. Now that being said, Bandai's near radio silence on organized play for 2024 was um, enough of an indication for me to kind of give up on cash prizing. Um, and like I said before, the, the announcement didn't come as any surprise to me. So the fact that travel vouchers are still going to be around and offered, I think all things considered is actually still very good and it's enough to keep me interested in the game. The only thing that really rubs me the wrong way is just how this situation was handled. It didn't need to be done like this and it could have been done much better. Battle Spirit Saga was the first 
TCG that I ever invested into. Uh, and I like to think that I picked out a good one for a couple of reasons, right? The Just for one, the cost to get into the game was quite cheap. Uh, I know that that is a more systemic problem, but at the same time, it made it very uh, easy to get into. But on top of that, I had a very welcoming community. My, my, Like I said earlier, my local community is very strong and very supportive as well. But because of the people that cash pricing brought into the game, it brought in these very seasoned TCG veterans. And it's a, a lot of them are saying, you know, the writing is on the wall and it's saying RIP BSS. And some of that is just unfortunately hard to ignore. But with that said, I, I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I do like the game. I do enjoy it. I'm not going to be selling my cards anytime soon. In fact, I would hate for this game to stop existing after 2024, like some people would probably suggest. Um, so I think with that, here are my hopes and wishes for Bandai, um, you know, a, a for-profit company who will probably never watch this video. One, I think Bandai should just own up to the mistake and take the L. Uh, I don't even care if they don't even announce why cash pricing was pulled. I don't think that's something that they even need to talk about. But I think they need to recognize that there wasn't misleading information. It was just, it was conflicting. They obviously changed their mind at some point and that's okay. Um, they should just say, sorry. Two, I think Bandai needs to advertise the hell out of this game. I originally learned about this game through a sponsored ad on one of Critical Role's episodes. And so I think Bandai needs to recognize that influencer marketing can have a considerable impact. It's just that advertising can't really stop. Three, Bandai needs to work towards making distribution a lot less of a headache. I'm not even going to pretend to know like I have an answer, but if this game is ever going to support a $1 million cash prize pool uh, in the future, then Bandai needs to make it so people don't hate trying to buy this product when it releases. Lastly, the communication between the community and Bandai just needs to be vastly improved. I don't think it's right for people to you know, go on comment campaigns on Facebook and beg for information on X only for it to just lead to a bomb of an announcement like this. If I can make any kind of recommendation, it would be, you know, having a forum directly on the Battle Spirits website where someone from Bandai can directly re reach out to people who are asking questions there. Um, that may not be the most feasible and maybe it's asking too much, but I think given the circumstances, I think we're kind of owed a, a more streamlined avenue of communication. Maybe I'm being naive and I'm asking too much, but I really do hope that this game will continue to see growth and I hope that improvements can be made to avoid situations like this in the future. The game is a ton of fun and it has an extensive history in Japan that I know people would love to see the mechanics from that version make its way into Battle Spirit Saga and the only way that it can do that is, is if this game continues to exist. But time will tell on that one, and even though there are people out there who are saying that this game doesn't have a lot of time left on it, uh, I'm going to continue to believe otherwise. I'm going to continue to have fun with it, and I'm going to continue to play it and make content on it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and with that, I will leave you there. Thank you so much for watching, be safe, be happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.